On the front of our mast is our pitot tube. Our pitot tube measures our ram air pressure for our pitot-static instruments. Our pitot-static instruments are our airspeed indicator, our vertical speed indicator, and our altimeter. We get our ram air pressure for our airspeed indicator. Our other instruments also work off of our static port, which is located behind our auxiliary fuel tank in this compartment. Inside the helicopter, on our control panel, we have our pitot-static instruments. Our pitot-static instruments are comprised of the airspeed indicator, our vertical speed indicator, and our altimeter. Our pitot-static system is comprised of the ram air pressure from our pitot tube, or the dynamic air pressure from our pitot tube, and then the static pressure from our static port. Our airspeed indicator works off of both the static pressure and the ram air pressure from our pitot tube. How that works inside the instrument is the ram air pressure goes inside to a diaphragm and allows that diaphragm to expand. So the faster we move through the air, that diaphragm is going to expand a little bit more because more pressure is created from that ram air pressure. As we slow down, less ram air pressure is created, so it's going to allow that diaphragm to contract. And then our static pressure is vented around that diaphragm so it can measure the difference between the ram air pressure and the static pressure. Right here is our vertical speed indicator. This instrument runs off of only our static pressure. Inside this instrument we have a diaphragm and as we climb or descend in altitude the pressure is going to change instantaneously inside that diaphragm and that diaphragm is going to be allowed to either expand or collapse depending on if we're climbing or descending. Around that diaphragm we have pr static pressure as well but that static pressure is metered through a metered leak and so it's only allowed to change at a metered speed. So between the diaphragm expanding and that metered leak we're able to calculate the rate of change on this instrument. So the vertical speed indicator is measuring the rate of change in pressure. So it's measuring how fast that pressure is changing as we climb or descend. This is our altimeter. Our altimeter works off our static pressure. Inside this altimeter we have an aneroid wafer. That wafer is allowed to either expand or contract depending on if we're climbing in altitude or descending in altitude. So as I climb in altitude, we're going to have less pressure allowing that aneroid wafer to expand showing a climb in altitude. As I descend in altitude I'm going to have more pressure collapsing that aneroid wafer showing a descent in altitude. 